Hi, hello. So welcome to today's uh, video where we will be looking at how to actually reverse the direction of travel for any design alignment. So here what we have is basically a very simple um, geometry, all right, a complex geometry. Now if I were to just go ahead and do a quick element annotation here, all right, we can have a look here to see that um, my starting change is all the way here uh, on the left hand side. All right, so this is the point of beginning, and of course here we have the uh, point of ending. Now, what we want to do here is uh, to really take a look at how to uh, quickly reverse the direction of travel, uh, which is currently what we have here is now this is traveling in this direction. So we want to just reverse it so that it goes in that direction. Now, of course, the most uh, or rather one of the main considerations in doing that is we can definitely just drop the entire alignment and then just um, recomplex the geometry in the different direction. Okay, but what if you have already designed the vertical profile? Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and bring up my vertical profile here. So if I already have a vertical profile, and this is actually the active profile here that we have uh, designed for. So the consideration now is a little bit different because we want to preserve this profile, but the only thing we want change is actually the direction of travel. So how is the most efficient way to do this is using a tool that we call transpose. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to go over to geometry tab and over the modify tool here, you have this tool called transpose element okay so if we go ahead and select this transpose element you will be getting the prompt to locate the first element that you want to transpose meaning to say that you can um, actually go ahead and do multiple um, multiple selection at a time so if this is the alignment in question all I need to do is just come in here all right, and then you will see now the prompt is asking us to locate the next element. So if there is no other elements that we want to uh, transpose, we can just go ahead and do a reset or right click to complete. So by right clicking on this, you will then be prompted to accept the transpose uh, selected elements. All right, so I will just go ahead and accept this with a left click now. And what is going to happen here is you will notice that another line uh, seems to be um, created. Okay, so that is exactly what is happening. If you look at this here, I actually have this uh, complex element called SOP Geom BL1. So if I were to do a right click over it, all right, you will see that there is another element here, which is the original element called SOP Geom BL. So if I just want to, uh, you know, if I just want to make things a little bit clearer now, all I need to do is go ahead and delete the original element. So if you couldn't really get into the um, correct element by uh, using the graphical method, you could go over to your Explorer tool and then under Operos Model tab, expand the file name, expand elements, and then because I'm using the same uh, feature definition, you will see that there are actually two elements uh, under this feature definition called SG Geom Baseline underscore L. So if I want to get rid of the original element here, I can just select it, right click, and then delete. Okay, so that will get rid of the original element. And what is left here is basically the transposed element, SOP Geom BL1. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I want to have a look at the profile model. So I will just come in here and you will see the entire profile of the vertical alignment is reversed. Okay, so everything is maintained uh, based on your original design. It's just that the whole thing now is reversed if you can see in this direction as well. All right, so what's going to happen here now is if this is what we want and uh, the direction of travel is now reversed, all I need to do now is simply to just go on ahead and do a quick verification here so going back to drawing production and then annotate element I will just come in here and quickly annotate this to ensure that now it is traveling from the right to the left so now this becomes my point of beginning okay and you can see of course the change increasing as we go to the left and this now becomes the point of ending all right so of course if you look at this 
change zero here, all right, change zero here will always refer to this point over here. So if you were to look at it, just be mindful that when you look in the vertical profile, change zero is still referring to this point and not to this point. Okay, but do note that once we transpose the element, the vertical geometry that has been activated, okay, will also be transposed together with it. All right, so this is how you can quickly uh, reverse the direction of any geometry that you have designed for uh, by using the transpose element tool. Hope this helps.